Hey guys, welcome to our daily encounter. In Psalm 102, in our reading today, we have some verses that are also quoted in Hebrews chapter 1. And it's found here in Psalm 102, uh, starting in verse 25. It says, Of old you founded the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. Even they will perish, but you endure, and all of them will wear out like a garment. Like clothing you will change them, and they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will not come to an end. The children of your servants will continue, and their descendants will be established before you. And here's a contrast between the temporary nature of the heavens and the earth and the the permanence of God. You know, one day this world will go away. Uh, it'll be folded up like a garment, as it's described here. And it will be changed, and the way that we see it today will cease to be. But God is eternal, and He never changes, and He'll always be there. Which ought to cause us to think about where our allegiance lies. It's very easy for us to get distracted by the things of this earth. To get distracted by uh, accumulating wealth, accumulating possessions, uh seeking the gratification of the moment, living for uh, just temporary pleasures and comfort, and not really realizing that all of these things are going to pass away. That all of the cars that we buy, the, the possessions that we uh, take in, uh, all the even accomplishments we might make that, that uh, put us ahead in this world, as as wonderful as they are for the moment, ultimately, it'll all be gone. And the heavens and the earth will pass away. And this is one of the reasons why the Apostle John tells us not to love the things of this world. In 1 John chapter 2, there, uh, the Apostle John uh, tells us this. He says, do not love the world, nor the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the boastful pride of life, is not from the Father, but is from the world. The world is passing away, and also its lust. But the one who does the will of God lives forever. So if we're going to live for this, just the temporary things, uh, those things will perish. They won't last. And so what we ought to do is lift up our eyes to the eternal one, the one who will endure forever throughout all the ages, and realize that we need to invest our time, our devotion, our love into God. Because long after the world has gone away, long after the heavens and the earth have been changed, God will remain. And so he should be our utmost desire. He should be the one that we devote our hearts to, our lives to. He's the one that we should... Uh, offer our bodies as a living sacrifice for, and he should be our ultimate goal in life and our ultimate purpose in life. And so hopefully our reading today will help us to remember that and not to get off track, not to get distracted by the things that allure us in this world, but to stay fixed on God and keep our eyes fixed on Christ. So these are some things we reflect on and think about as we do your reading today. With that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.